this is Colin Harris from Nowhere, just wrapping up the series on hooking up SAS in Excel. So this is a short summary section, just to include a few miscellaneous bits and pieces. And to note, if you want to get hold of the full presentation in a much easier to use format than through the videos, if you want to print it off, for instance, it's available on our website, nowhere.co.nz. Also, the references that... Um, give you a lot more details on some of these techniques are listed in that presentation as well. I also talk about them later in this uh, little section, but it's uh, it'd be easier to get them from that full presentation. A number of people say, right, out of these range of techniques, what's best for me? Which technique is going to be the best one? Well, it really depends. Horses for courses, uh, you may have different needs and therefore a different technique for different needs at different times. So what I'd suggest is you first of all find out what's possible at your work and that depends on what uh, SAS products you have, uh, other things within your environment, so that whittles down the list of techniques to a, a smaller list. Uh, and then get familiar with each of the techniques that are relevant for your environment. And you may come up then with a short list of you know, three or four techniques um, that are good for specific things, and you use that as your, your toolbox for uh, as a need arises to choose the appropriate technique. A couple of other miscellaneous things that people have asked. Uh, we've said some of the advantages of some of the techniques is the, the small file size. And just to give you an indication of how that can vary, here's an example. So this is a moderate size table, 60,000 rows, 27 columns, and here it's showing us the different sizes in megabytes. So as you see, the CSV is the smallest. It's one of the advantages of the CSV format. 12 megabytes, and other techniques range up to 18, 22, 57, 97, 143. So 10 times the size. So if you're dealing with huge SAS tables, large amounts of data, it could be a consideration for you the different sizes of the different techniques. Another thing that may be important to you is if you're using older versions of Excel, some of those aren't appropriate for some of the techniques. So that's what this table is just giving us, is um, the various techniques, for example, the Excel XP, that needs Microsoft Excel 2002 or above, where a number of the other techniques use older versions of Excel. Okay, um, that's giving an overview of lots of different techniques, but just at the overview level. Uh, we're gathering feedback to see if people want more details in some of these techniques. So please let us know uh, if you'd like to see a more detailed session on any of these areas. These are the most likely ones that you would need a lot more detail on. The SAS Excel Libname Engine, using the SAS add into Microsoft Office, the ODS Excel XP Tag Set, third party controlling program, or the other way around. We've been talking about SAS going to Excel. If you want to have a presentation such as this on the other way around of Excel coming back into, Excel, into SAS, data or information coming from Excel to SAS. So please let me know. You can email me directly. My email address there, colin.harris at nowhere.co.nz. And just uh, mention the references, more detailed references. Um, these are the papers I've used to get my research from. So um, thanks very much to the authors of these papers. They need to be uh, acknowledged and certainly go to these papers for a lot more detail. So this is, these two papers here are more an overview, like I've been giving you an overview. So this is a different um, way to gain that overview, a few more bits and pieces than I've been able to portray in these videos. The Excel XP technique, a couple of very good papers there on doing that, so refer to those. ODS formats, this is a specific paper just purely talking about how to use SAS formats to get the correct style or a correct format through to Microsoft formats, so that's a, a really useful one as well. And here are two very useful papers on using the Excel libname engine. Um, as I said earlier, this is one of my favourite techniques. I'd certainly recommend you having a read of these two to get some more understanding of how you can use this, this great technique. And that's the end of the series. So uh, thank you very much for spending the time to have a look at uh, this video and perhaps some of the others and hope you gain something useful from it. Thank you and goodbye. Thanks for watching this video, which is part of a series on hooking up SAS in Excel. 
The full PowerPoint presentation is available at nowhere.co.nz, which includes references to good papers that provide more details.